are the International Student Battalion from Fort Bliss, Texas. The ball Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is a New 7 Morning Report. Good morning, I'm Raymond Mesa. It's 825. Our current temperature is 71 degrees, and I'll have the complete forecast coming right up. But first, a look at some of the top stories for your Thursday morning. School officials at Canyon Hills Middle School say activities are back to normal following Tuesday's shooting on campus. Principal James Stevens believes the five youngsters accused in the shooting represent only a small percentage of students in the El Paso area, and the majority of the students are cooperative and law-abiding youngsters. Next Thursday, the school will be hosting a meeting for parents to discuss concerns about their children's safety. A federal judicial police officer had a close call yesterday in Juarez when he tried to apprehend a man wanted for drug dealing. The officer went to the Pronto Body Shop where he says five assailants confused him with another drug dealer and began beating him up. The officer's assistant, uh, assistant called for uh, help as one assailant held a gun to the officer's head. When police responded to the distress call, the assailants fled and authorities confiscated various weapons, over 1,000 rounds of ammunition, assorted illegal drugs, and 46 syringes. More news coming up in just a moment. You Bet Your Life, starring Bill Cosby. I was a hair replacement person. It's not your typical game show. They just brought a head. Yes. Because you never know how things are going to go. The head and the picture. Yes. And they said to you, I want to look like this. Yes. And what did you say? Sorry, can't do that. It's a game without rules and a comedy without a script. I'm not talking to you anymore. Bill Cosby and You Bet Your Life. Weeknights at 6.30 on 7 Together. A potentially deadly disease could be flying into the Sun City. Health authorities say bats heading south for the winter are making unwelcome stops right here in El Paso. County officials say the sixth rabbit bat within the last two weeks was found in the city yesterday. So all I'll just say 10 to 15 percent of bats test positive for rabies. And that could be a problem because El Paso is a major migration route. Officials say the sightings are normal for this time of year. But County Health Director Dr. Lawrence Nicky says he's concerned because people are handling the potential rabies carriers. Nicky says the Mexican free-tailed bat has been sighted in all parts of the community, including a local elementary school. Stay with us. We'll be back with a look at our weather right after this. Thousands of El Pasoans suffer with allergies this time of year. Would you like to reduce your misery? Allergy testing is very helpful and relatively painless. It identifies the source of your problem, allowing you to avoid it. In many cases, medications may be enough to control symptoms. Only if medications fail, need injections even be considered. This health tip is brought to you by David B. Weinstein, specializing in the treatment of asthma and allergies with offices in East and West El Paso. Hey, where are you going? Mailboxes, etc. Where are you going? Mailboxes, etc. Let Mailboxes, etc. take the hassle out of getting your belongings to school. There's no need to try and jam everything into a car or on a crowded plane. Mailboxes Etc. will professionally pack and ship your belongings. Mailboxes Etc. also carry shipping supplies for the do-it-yourselfer. This year, take the hassle out of going to school. Where are you going? Mailboxes Etc. You'd expect to pay $50 to $110 for these beautiful, famous label dresses, but they're only $29.90 to $49.90, now at Burlington Coat Factory. Don't let the nice morning fool you. We do uh, have a chance for some rain coming up. We'll get to that in a moment. First, a look at our current weather conditions this Thursday morning. Skies are sunny. Beautiful morning, 71 degrees, humidity, 76%, and the wind is from the northeast at only 3 miles per hour. Forecast calling for partly cloudy skies and a chance for some showers this afternoon and then again tonight. Our high temperature today, a little bit warmer than yesterday, 92 degrees, and the wind from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's news and weather for this hour. I'm Raymond Mesa, inviting you to join us for all of the news at 6 and 10, right here on 7 Together. In the meantime, drive safely and have a good morning. Fashions for the new 7 team were chosen at the popular. Find great values for your home during their Harvest Home Value Days going on now at all four popular stores. Paso and Las Cruces are watching Jeopardy! weekdays at 5 p.m. on KVIA 7 Together.
Al Paso, get ready for your favorite 16th of September celebration as KBIA 7 Together, Coors Light and Cama 750 present Fiestas Patrias featuring Grammy Award winner Lil Joe y La Familia. And David Lee Garza y Los Musicales and featuring over 80 food and game booths. Get your advance tickets today and we'll see you at Fiestas Patrias brought to you by your friends at Cama 750, Coors Light, The Silver Bullet and KBIA 7 Together.